Grand Slam channel. Thank you for tuning in for the video. Got some KBO action for early games for July 11th. So let's get started. We got five props. You guys can mix and match. Pick your favorite two, three, four, or five. But I usually do a five man for KBO. So let's start off with the pitcher strikeouts. I only have one for pitcher strikeouts, and it's for Sean Q. Him. I have him going over four strikeouts. We got some push equity with the 4.0. So I'm going to take that over. Uh, he has pitched against the Hanwha Eagles once, and he did have four strikeouts. At so I have him going over. And the rest, the, the rest of the, the four props that I'm taking, they're all going to be under hits allowed. Uh, the pitcher strikeouts, we just have too many point fives. I don't really, I don't really like that because I have to lean one or the other. At least with the point zero, I have the push equity. So I'm going to go with hits allowed. Uh, I looked at pitching now, so we just don't have that many options. Uh, but the hits allowed, I do like. There's a couple, several of them that I researched and I like going over. So first one we're going to be with An Wu Jin at 5.0 hits allowed. I have him going over against the KT Wiz. Should be a, a good matchup. Uh, my next one is Eric Feed. Also at 5.0 hits allowed. I have him going over. He is going against the Will Tate Giants. These are the top three. The two, these two teams are on the top four best teams in the KBO. So it should be competitive. I do have it over. Next one is Dun Jun Kim, also at 5.0 hits allowed, going up against the second place team, the SSG Landers, 5.0. With these three, we have the push equity to be under or over. It's a big reason I like it. And my last one is Young Chil Jung from the Kia Tigers at 4.5. He usually doesn't pitch that many innings. Usually his his average he averages between five and five and two thirds. Uh, he does allow a lot of walks, which limits him to six innings. Uh, his hits allowed. He usually just averages between four and six. It's hard to it's hard to predict him because he can have a good game where he uh, where he allows like two or three hits, but he walks like eight. So this is a tough one for me, but I like it at four point five going over have him going more so those are my five i'm going with for kbo chan q him over strikeouts and Woon jin over hits allowed eric feed over hits allowed dun jun kim over hits allowed all these four have push equity which i like and young cho yun at 4.5 hits allowed going over so those are the five i'm going with mix and match tail lightly pick your favorites please like subscribe and comment I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Hopefully you guys with your support, I can do that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.